Hello, my name is Dan Moore, and I am Head of Developer Relations at FusionAuth. Today I'm going to walk you through setting up an integration between Zendesk, the popular support center and ticketing application, and FusionAuth. In preparation for today's video, I have set up a instance of FusionAuth running in the cloud, in FusionAuth Cloud. I've also signed up for Zendesk. So the first step to any kind of integration with FusionAuth is typically to create an application. So we're going to create an application called Zendesk. And I'm going to add a few roles. Next, I'm going to add some code to map between the roles that are assigned to users in FusionAuth, those two roles that I added, and the roles in Zendesk. And that is done in FusionAuth with what is called a Lambda. So I'm going to add a new Lambda. Let's call it add roles. And we're going to paste it in here. And all this is doing is taking attributes off of an object that's handed to us in the registration and assign that to a particular place in the SAML response so that Zendesk, which consumes that response, can read those roles. All right, so we've set up the application and we've also set up the Lambda. We now need to configure the application's SAML attributes. So we're going to go to the SAML tab. We're going to enable SAML. The issuer is simply the URL of our Zendesk. It's important to note that you don't want a slash at the end of that URL. And then our ACS is configured. This is a value based on the URL, but also pulled from the Zendesk documentation. We are going to auto-generate our sign-in key and we are going to use the add roles lambda to populate our SAML response, basically to augment our SAML response. And that is really all we need to do to configure this SAML integration from the FusionAuth side. One more thing we need to do though to demonstrate it is to add a user. So let's go ahead and add a user save them and we are going to add a registration for this user which basically lets us assign them to an application so they have access to an application and optionally assign some roles so in this case we're going to assign this user the agent role and essentially we are now done with the configuration of fusion auth now let's go ahead and go to the zendesk side of things now we are going to configure Zendesk. We go to the admin screen, we go to security settings, and we go to single sign-on, and we are going to configure SAML. So let's go ahead and enable SAML. And then over on the FusionAuth side, we go back to our application and we view the SAML integration details section. And we're interested in the logout URL. And that, or the login URL, pardon me. And that is the SSO URL. We're also interested in the logout URL. And then as far as our certificate fingerprint here, we need to go to the key master. And you can see this auto-generated key. We want to view that. Grab our certificate. Paste that in there. We could conceivably limit it to certain IP ranges, but we're not going to. So now we have configured SAML. We need to set up the login for various classes of users. So we're going to go ahead and set it up for staff members. 
and then we're going to set it up for end users as well. And that's it. So now we have seen that how to configure things. Let's go ahead and log in as that agent user that we previously added. We're going to go ahead and paste in our Zendesk URL. And we are bounced to the FusionAuth login screen. Now this is customizable. What you're looking at right now is the default settings. Submit. And we end up at the Zendesk agent screen where we have no tickets, thankfully but you can look at our profile and you can see that it is the same email address that we use to sign in. So that is, in a nutshell, how you configure a single sign-on between Zendesk and FusionAuth. Thank you so much for watching this video. And if you wanna learn more about FusionAuth, visit FusionAuth.io. Thank you.